Then as you hear back collecting some things after what must have been a whirlwind deadline day, when did you find out about the potential move? Yeah, uh, yeah. first time I heard something was like on Saturday after the game. It was like my old agent saying like Club Rouge had had some questions about me or informed to see if it could potentially work. And uh, then obviously I was like, yeah, we've been here before, done that. So I didn't really pay too much attention to it. But then I started getting phone calls later that evening from people from the club. And then on Sunday, it became more and more, they like doing their best to make an offer that was attractive. And then like by Sunday evening, it looked like this could potentially work out. And then obviously on, on Monday, like Monday, things just just like one big blur in a sense, like having to go there, having to medicals, but not knowing whether it's, it might happen or it might not happen. So, and then in the end, like even like 15 minutes before the end of the uh, closing of the transfer market, it looked like it was not going to happen. Things were not going to get sorted in time, but then it, it still ended up happening. Like, and the deal was done like three minutes before closing of the transfer window. I mean, it's a really generalized question that I'm about to ask you, but like, w what's that like? I mean, the kind of feeling, the, the, the sudden emotions around change and moving, it must be a, a big challenge for anyone. Yeah, I mean, for me, it was like also like, because I was perfectly happy here. I mean, this was my home. Fulham was my home. Barnes was my home. All my kids were born here. Some was going to school, so it was like... I. You didn't have much time to prepare your mind for it, so to let it sink in. But then maybe that was it's better that way than if you might like start thinking and asking too many questions and things might have been might have been different. But uh, yeah, it's just like that's part of being a football player. Like it, it can happen any time. It's not like you give three months notice or, or anything. It's like if you move, you move. And I think it's a little bit easier, obviously, when you have no kids or like you, you're just you and your girlfriend and you just move countries and it's still a big step then. But now it's like it involves kids and, and those things. So I also have to take that in account. But I think that's also one of the reasons why I did it in the end is because I think I, I can give my, my, my family uh, a really good life there. Because if, if, if that wasn't the case, then I, I wouldn't have done it. What's it been like being back here at Motsford Park today? Have you managed to say goodbyes to people that potentially with the fact that all that was a whirlwind has managed you to say goodbye in person to some people? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm trying to see everybody like, uh, yeah, just not only teammates, but like you guys, like Simon, who does all the, the, the material or like takes care of all the, the stuff coming in. Like I've had chats with him before, like I was just sitting in his in his room and like we have a good bond so I was happy that he was in and I, I managed to see him and yeah just not it's not only my teammates like obviously it was five and a half years so I, I saw a lot a lot of a lot of people and I knew a lot of people so I was trying I'm, I'm trying to see to see everybody and, and have a proper goodbye obviously I won't be able to see everybody like the fans because I have to go back tomorrow but I, I'll, I'll definitely be back to, to, to watch a game. Hopefully I'll make it, I'll be able to come back uh, this season, but if not, then, uh, then it will be another time because I, I definitely want to come back. Five and a half years you've referenced it. It's been, it's been a five and a half years in terms of at the club, highs and lows. It's been a journey, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 been, it's, been, it's been crazy. I never expected it to, to turn out the way that it that it turned out, because like you said, like all of a sudden moving. I remember when I signed for Fulham, like there was another team, Ghent, who was also like very interested. And then I was like, okay, I want to play in England. But then it was like the the coach really wanted me, as in the in Belgium and Slovenia. So I was like, look, I trust my uh, the other people to take decisions. So he, would, I didn't really have a conversation with him. And then I was like, oh, should I sign? Because the other coach really wants me, and I don't know if this coach really wants me. But then I wanted to play in England, and then when I signed, uh, then you just go over, like, oh, have I have I made a mistake or not? But then, I mean, it ended up being the best decision I ever made.
London, Barnes, Fulham. Uh, what's what's it going to mean to you? Is it going to is it going to feel like a second home constantly? Well, you've always you've almost kind of insinuated it feels like your home. Yeah, it it, it is it is. I mean, it it is it was my home for for like this this last five years. Maybe not the first six months or anything, but I, I remember like when the, uh, when it was off season and then I was in Belgium for a long time or went on a holiday and whenever I came back and it was like the weather was nice or like even like September when the, the colors of autumn or <laughs> of the leaves are so nice, I just walk around and just smile because I'm, I am convinced that Barnes will be the best place I've ever lived in in my, in, in my whole life, even though I might live somewhere in Belgium, like for what it has to offer as in like living there, family life, being close to a world city like London. I don't think that's, for me, there will ever be a better place than, than Barnes. But however, I, I, I have family in Belgium. I was always gonna go back to Belgium after my career. And now it's just a little bit sooner than, than I thought it would be. After introducing yourself to the fans on that debut versus Newcastle with the back trick, you, you, you know, you kind of cemented yourself straight off the bat being a fan favorite. What? What kind of connection and love have you always felt with Fulham fans and some of the messages that you've been receiving over the last couple of days? Yeah, I mean they've always been they've always been very very nice to me and I'm I think I'm a pretty accessible guy. Like if you see me around the stadium or wherever you want to talk to me, then I'll just have a quick chat with you. Uh, obviously, there's always been also like lower moments in a sense, like obviously when we were getting relegated in the first season and obviously when things don't go well people people get blamed and I am I am by far not the best player in the squad and I, I will never be but I think what I always try to do is like give it my all and give give 100% so to make sure that people don't question my my integrity and my uh, yeah my commitment to the team and I think Maybe a lot of people saw that and 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 respected that, uh, and that's 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 what I would, what I brought to the team, and like not only on game day but like on every training, like just one hundred percent commitment every day. Once the kind of flux of this this period of change passes, you, you'll be able to look back and remember some of the fantastic memories that you've created here. I mean, the goal in the semi final, the journeys that we've had. I mean, would you say this has been? In terms of over 100 appearances for Fulham, would you say this has been the most enjoyable part of your career? By far, not a question. I've had, I've had, I've had good memories in, in, in other teams as well. And, and I've made great friends in, in, in other teams, but like in, in terms of memories and just being able to have played that many games for a team like a club like Fulham is like something I would have never expected in my career to happen. So I'm, so I said 100%. 100% commitment every day is because I was proud of being a Fulham player and I was proud to represent this, this club because for me it's a, it's a very big club. Tough question, but what would you say your favourite moment is in a Fulham shirt? Uh, yeah, probably a semi-final goal because obviously it was something to be, to be really proud of. Uh, I mean, promotion was also nice, except for the part that I got sent off. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I I cannot say that moment, but like semi final because also like I did something that game as well that was like, I mean, I scored a a great goal and that made it so that we got got like went to Wembley. So yeah, that's a little bit more personal even than it was if I was just on the pitch and didn't score. So I would say that that moment. And I suppose the question is with the two crossbar celebrations that have occurred at East Promotion. Would you potentially return? Say we did get promoted this year to come and do it. <laughs> I mean, I would, that would be it. Would be it would be great to, to do that, but uh, yeah, our league is very long, so I don't know if I'll be able. I hope to be able to attend the game, or like maybe the the last home game, and hopefully Fulham is already promoted by then. And if I would be on the pitch, I would, I would gladly get on the crossbar. But uh, we'll see. What does it What does it feel like, just as on a personal level, as a as a football player? Like again, once the dust settles and you look back on this, you see people coming on at halftime in a forever Fulham award, and you've been 
you've been part of this club through this journey and, and become such an integral part of this club. I'm sure one day you will be integrated into that. Would it be nice to feel like, that you do, will you always feel part of the Fulham family? family? I kind of went in a roundabout way there. But. Yeah, because I mean, now I will always, I mean, just like the biggest, the biggest part in my, in my career is, has, has been Fulham. And like I said, I, I, first I set myself, I was like, okay, maybe I, I want to get to 200 appearances for, for Fulham. Obviously, last year didn't help me much in in <laughs> in that uh, in that case, but uh, that's what I was like. I mean, if I could be able to do that, that would be like enormous. But then, yeah, things like in football just have a sudden twist, or that's uh, that's life. I guess things happen which you don't expect. But uh, yeah, Fulham will be. Always, I will always be like that. Will always be family. There's there's no other club that comes even close. Like my son was like is a huge Fulham fan. Like. A few weeks ago, he came home and said, I scored a goal. And when I scored, I did this. I mean, <laughs> this, it was like a massive, I, like Mitro. So he comes to the games and he sees, he sees Mitro scoring goals. Uh, his, yeah, Fulham was his club. And I think also for him, it will be very weird. I mean, he saw me play yesterday in another shirt. But I think for him, like Fulham was his first club. And that's also why this will always be family. Because for the things that Fulham has done for my family without obviously them knowing but like this is how my son got introduced to f to football how my daughter got introduced to football and they i mean my son he wears his uni school uniform in the week and then in the weekend he just only wears football kits and most of them are fulham except for a few times when he came to the game with a lesser shirt <laughs> <laughs> and if you were to for the fans that are watching this on the stream at half time in the minimal game and on the website after it what would you say to the fans just as a, a final message? Just like thank you for everything you've you've done for me and um um I uh, I just wanted to know I didn't expect this. Uh I would have yeah, yeah, in a certain way gladly like finished my career at Fulham, but like yeah, life just takes you on a certain journey and this is an opportunity that I had to to have to grasp because I don't know how much longer maybe the club would have wanted me here and like this just gives extra like an opportunity for me and especially my my family but i i want to thank every fulham fan from from the bottom of my heart for for the reception and for for the kind messages this this last few days and, and, I, and i will really really miss you guys